The old radio sets that were made in the late 1920s were called lamp socket radios. That was a term that's in their advertising. So I bought a lamp socket. I've almost finished making my uh, test point terminal block for my line voltage controller. And here's how you make the uh, terminal. First you form the, uh, the clip and then mark the hole where you're going to have the mounting screw uh, for mounting right there. And don't drill, don't use a drill bit. Uh, to mount this. This is 5 mil brass so it's very thin and flexible and the best way to do this hole is to punch it with a nail and start with a small nail to make sure the holes lined up and then gradually use a slightly larger nail until the uh, sheet metal screw, this is a number 6 by 3 8 inch sheet metal screw, you want it to just engage the, the uh, brass so that it kind of threads itself into it. Okay, so now I've installed the second terminal and you notice I did not cut the the brass strip before in installation. Same thing over here. Okay, so now I trimmed the brass uh, strip uh, down to, so I have a complete part now. Let's see how it works. Click. I heard the click. Click. I clicked in real good. So, this part is all set now, ready to use in my line voltage controller. I got a little gal, she's got a wooden leg, got a wooden leg, got a wooden leg. I guess that's the reason why they call her Peg. Tell me, ain't you coming out tonight? Oh, ain't you, ain't you, ain't you, ain't you coming out tonight? Here's my completed controller unit. Uh, I made the little enclosure uh, using just hand tools. I don't have any fancy woodworking tools. And you can see that the uh, input uh, for the line filter is right here. And I do the fuse holder on the back. So let's uh, see how it works. I'll demonstrate it uh, in the next clip. First, let's see what the line voltage is uh, before we plug in and turn on the radio. So I'll insert my meter clips into the uh, test point. And I see on my meter that it's uh, the line voltage this morning is around 122 volts. All right, so we'll uh, now have to adjust that down to 110 volts uh, when we turn on the radio. Okay, I have the radio plugged in now, but it's not turned on yet. And before I turn it on, I'm going to turn the rheostat to uh, decrease the voltage under load some more because last night the line voltage was 118 volts. So you can see our line voltage here is not uh, stable over the course of a day. So I'm going to turn it back a little bit. Now I turn on the radio. And you can see I guessed pretty good. Uh, the voltage dropped to 110 volts. That's my target. And you're now listening to my Atwater Kent radio. Just to show you that the rheostat does make a difference. I'll turn it down a little. Okay, there's a you can see how the rheostat does adjust the line voltage. Pacific fails. Pacific fails. Uh, certainly the 
place where I've been shopping for 24 years. Matter of fact, I was talking about right. yesterday to uh, Robin and RPD now and a bunch of people. Here's the coupe to Grace. When we built the house, we had enough appliances and things that we actually Here's my treasure, Atwater Kent Model 40. Uh, appliance stores. And even with that, Pacific Sales came in at far less. And of course, you know the quality of Pacific Sales. Showrooms are huge. Great ideas and inspiration for your home projects in addition to the... So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out.